If you're a startup, an SMB, or even a large company, you need to own a B2B bank account. You need it to pay your salaries, to pay your rent, to pay your online services, and even to receive money from your customers. Your bank account contains the oxygen of your company. It is central in the process. But in the era of fintech, you probably have more than one tool to handle your finances. You might have a different tool for invoicing, another one to receive payments, and maybe a tool to handle the salaries of your employees. If you're lucky, all these tools will have integration between each other. If not, you will have to build this integration yourself and you'll know how to code for that. On top of that, you might have some external people like an accountant who still use Excel and emails to communicate financial data with you. The situation often results in doing repetitive tasks like copy pasting data from a tool to another, doing manual calculation over and over, which is nothing more than friction, room for failure, and the time you spend here is the time you don't spend solving the problems of your customers. So how do we do to solve this problem? How do we automate our financial data without writing a single line of code. Well, that's exactly what we're going to see in this video coming up. Hey everyone, I'm Shubham Sharma. I'm a product manager at Conto. Conto is the all-in-one business account for SMEs and freelancers. We help you automate your corporate finance, save time on expense reports, truly optimize your accounting process. My goal in this video is to show you how we can automate a big chunk of your repetitive tasks. Let's say today your accountants ask you to send all your business receipts. What you're probably gonna do is go find and download one by one each of these receipts and then send them in bulk by email. If I ask you how much you spent on Uber last month, you're probably gonna go through your bank account to do some sort of calculation and give me the amount. But this is not optimized. Our computers know how to do that. They are made for that. They can send us notifications, alerts. They can handle repetitive tasks for us. But we often think to be able to do that, you need to know how to code. Well, this is not true. There is a big movement right now, which I think really started get momentum last year. That movement is called no code. This is pretty much what it sounds like. This is where you put various tools together to build apps and create automation without necessarily know how to code. And this is exactly what we're gonna use to connect Conto with external app. Let me show you an amazing tool that lets you connect all your favorites app together without writing a single line of code. This tool is Zapier. Zapier connects with more than 2000 apps and now with Conto as well. And the most amazing thing about Zapier is you can do all that without writing a single line of code. Let's say I'm the CFO of a company and I want to be notified whenever someone do a transaction of more than 500 euros. Let's take a look on how we can do that in a few minutes with Zapier. So here I am on my Zapier account. So what I want to do, I want to connect Conto uh, with um, Gmail because I want to be alerted by email whenever a transaction is bigger than 500 as I said earlier so here I have a couple of triggers that I can use what I will say is whenever there is a new transaction uh, I want to send an email here we go so there is a a, uh, a zap that I can use here use zap so now I'll have to configure this to make sure that everything works well so I need first to sign in into my Conto account so so here I'm gonna give the consent that I wanna allow Zapier to get access to my account and have a couple of information here. I'm giving the access. So now Zapier have all the information of my account. I'm gonna continue. And here I'm gonna set up the trigger. So um, it's asking my IBAN, which is my identification for my account. So I'm gonna go and grab my account identification number. And then he's gonna ask me here, um, do I want to exclude the pendings or not? So I wanna exclude the pending. Pendings are basically operation that hasn't been resolved yet. So here, I wanna test the trigger. Here we go. Now I have a transaction, which is a transfer that is 350 euros and to Sandra Vincent, here we go, continue. And now I have a trigger which is set it up. What I want to do is whenever this amount is bigger than, than 500, I want a, a notification about that. So here I'm gonna add what we call a filter in Zapier and I'm gonna say if the amount is greater than 500, then send me an email. 
what he's saying here is as the amount is under 500 this would not have gone through but I want to set it up if any in any case a transaction is bigger than 500 so what I want to do I want to send an email so with my personal account uh, let's say I want to send it to CFO at Conto uh, com and um, from let's say my personal email and I want to add my name and what I want to say in the subject is like hey be careful uh, here here is a transaction of and here for example I can add the amount of the transaction so I can add a couple of details in the in the body of the email so look I'm not coding here I'm just adding uh, a, um, a couple of information that have been uh, said here nothing crazy and here we go now if I want I can test this out if I click on test and continue, what will happen is the CFO is gonna get an email, but I can go in my email, see that this uh, email have been sent uh, from my personal account. Happened that CFO at Contour does not exist, but if it would have existed, it would have sent an email. So now I can turn on the zap. Whenever there is gonna be a transaction, an email is gonna be sent. Here we go. Now I have a way to actually track every transaction bigger than 500 with zero line of code. Let's take another example. Some of our users work with an external accountant that is not connected with their Conto account, unfortunately. That means they need to download one by one each receipt and send him at the end of the month. This obviously take them a lot of time and requires a lot of back and forth because the accountant don't have all the received in the first shot. So I'll show you how to create a Zapier integration here. Whenever I scan a receipt in my Conto app, it is automatically uploaded to a Google Drive and then I can send this Google Drive link at the end of the month to my accountant. So let me now create another Conto Zap where I'm gonna be watching not for the transaction but this time for the update attachment. So whenever there is an attachment that has been added, this is gonna trigger. So first I have to choose an account and here we go. Now I have to enter my IBAN again and then now he's gonna go and get for some transaction data. So let's say he got this data, he got a URL of one of my uh, previous transaction which is that one. So here we go, this is an invoice. I'm adding it, what do I want whenever there is a new transaction? I want to add it at, in the Google Drive. So now I have to choose the drive in which I want to upload that. Let's say I have a, an accountant folder, which is I just created it over here. And let's say that's the folder I want to send my accountant at the end of the month. So here now it's asking which file do I want to send. So now I'm not going to select the file name but this file URL so that it can upload it. And do I want to convert it into a document so I can easily here convert it into a Google Docs but I do not want that. So attachment file name for the file name and here we go continue. Now I'm gonna test and continue to see if that works. If, if everything went well, it should be added here. Here we go, I have now a new file, which is one of the attachment that was on my account. But now let's test this in real life. Let's say I go in my Conto account, I log in it. Let's say I have a spending for a IKEA which is 112 euros and the invoice is right here. So what I want to do, I want to just upload the receipt of it. Here we go. It has been detected. Now I'm just going to submit it. So now I have it into my smartphone. Let's see if the zap worked correctly or not. Here I have only one. And now boom, it just has been added directly to this drive. I was just waiting for it. So from now on, when I will scan a receipt, it will directly go to my Google Drive that I will be able to send it to my accountant at the end of the month. And this is just a sneak peek of what you can do with the Conto integration. If you like that video, smash the like button. All the resources and ready to clone templates are in the description below. Let us know in the comments what kind of other integration you would like to be able to do with Conto and we'll take care of that. On my side, I'll maybe see you in another video.